Hello my dear viewers, welcome to today's message. Today being Friday, August 2nd, 2nd of August, 2024. And this message is for all of us. It's a daily message about everything you need to know. Every area will be touched, every area will be um, addressed, everything you need to know. Uh, my dear viewers, it's for all of us, the whole collective. So welcome and I hope you enjoy this reading. I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you all for being here and also would like to wish you all the best today and always i hope you have a wonderful weekend i'd like to take this opportunity to say happy birthday to those of you celebrating today august 2nd happy birthdays many glorious returns um and those of you um celebrating any kind of anniversary i wish you the best of the best so my dear viewers let us see what is the message for today and it has opened up it says life's purpose. Maybe some of you are going through asking that main question is where am I? Where am I heading? What is my life's purpose? Am I on the right path? Every now and then people go through that when they're transiting from situation to situation, from chapter to chapter. The purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. That's all it is, our purpose here. To serve others and then ourselves. Okay, so yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. That's not important when you're doing service and when you're living your life. As long as you're doing the right thing and you know you're doing the right thing, you just continue doing it. Um, it says instead, instead of uh, trying to find out what your purpose is, instead focus upon servicing. Your, your focus should be on servicing. That's the purpose. A purpose and servicing a purpose and then your purpose will be serving you so it's simple as simple as that you just continue serving your purpose and your purpose is going to serve you it is basically that simple now my dear viewers you do know about the six cards here six messages for all of us each and every one of us we can however make it um personal by asking a question and nominating a place like um an answer and you can do that uh, right after I do these two messages. I'll go through and open them. So you can personalize them and make them your own by asking a question and nominating an answer. It can be anywhere and as many questions as six. So you're welcome to do that. Two messages, August 2nd for the collective. And we've got miracles. Wow, this has been coming lately. This card, this, this incredible message. Of miracles you know it looks so small like as if it's nothing but miracles not one but many are going to be bringing beautiful transformations in your life so in all of our lives so that's that's really wonderful news for those of you who are questioning your path and where you are and not knowing great miracles are coming I'd love to know when we might find that out purity something is ending toxic toxicity is leaving your life purification is coming in happiness overcoming one major challenge having a lot of success and great changes are going to take you to a place where you will be very happy but purification can also mean taking care of your health your mind your soul everything like that so miracles are going to be supporting this situation and what is no good in your life what is no more has purpose it will be removed now i'm going to go through these messages so let's go together one at a time if you're not ready you haven't nominated an answer this is the time where I say just put it on pause, ask question, nominate which answer you want, and then unpause it, and you'll see me go through it because I'm standing now. So let us begin. First one says mortar and pestle. Okay, mortar and pestle is all about blending, brewing, concocting, putting things together. It is also about um, got medicine. Is healing also there's a lot of healing breaking things down and understanding everything like putting things things come into perspective uh, with mortar and pestle it is also about spell work those of you who are involved in spell work potions um, you know making something else happen or something happen overall this is going to put an end to a chapter that's a bit overwhelming you're reaching to a level of ending and starting fresh it also shows um, there is going to be a lot of healing and you'll finally understand why certain things are taking place. Connected to people that have Libra or Scorpio in them. Uh, connected to 10 days from now, October big time, and Chinese Year of the Rooster. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And we've got teardrops. 
great personal sorrow. Some of you are going through a personal sorrow, maybe. Some of you are grieving the loss of someone. That is also there. Right. The next one. Let's have a look. I'm going through a dark night of the soul. Nothing in my life is making sense. This could be someone other yourself or someone. But I do feel like that you're transcending from this by August. So we're doing August 2nd, and it's just the beginning. But I feel like before August ends, you'll be relieved from this situation. You'll be transcended from this feeling uh, of, you know, um, nothing's making sense. Whenever this happens in your life, you always need to meditate. The more you meditate, the stronger you become, the more powerful you become. And you know exactly where you're at. Transcending to higher levels, August, big time, eight weeks, eight days or eight weeks from now. Chinese year of the goat and elevation. And people that have uh, Virgo or Leo in them. This is about them too, connected to them. Let's have a look at the next one. It says, I feel you pulling away and it triggers my fears that you will leave me for good. So this is when relationships are changing and coming to an end and somebody can feel that the other person is pulling away. And this is all about, um, you know, changes, tra transformations. And the transformations that are happening, to be quite honest with you, they're going to be good ones because there's a lot of color here, a lot of happiness. Uh, a lot of miracles are going to take place. You might be meeting, some, you might lose somebody, they might pull away, and then someone more wonderful comes along. Always remember, life is filled with surprises and it's filled with magnificent uh, destinies and changes and chapters. There's so much that can happen that um, you need to know. This year, especially 2024, the Chinese year of the dragon. This is about the dragon. People that have Taurus or uh, Gemini in them might be experiencing or going through this dark soul in a dark moment of the soul is when things are falling apart but look at that what i said heart love deep affection and caring love deep affection and caring and that's what's coming someone's going to give you their heart they're going to be very caring and very affectionate and there's going to be true love so whoever's leaving or you're fooling you're feeling they're pulling away it doesn't matter let them pull away if it's destined for you to lose that person that means something more someone more wonderful is coming in your life Okay, so it says yes. The answer is, is yes. The time has come. This is the time now. Yes. Oh, wow. That answers my question. Culmination of effort. Completion. Abundance. Fulfillment and release. Fruits of your labor. Wow. Focus on your needs and harvest and moving on. Something literally is ending and a grand reward is coming. Abundance is coming. And completion of a chapter yes this is the time now so what you've been feeling I asked if my feeling was right about something and like if you have asked anything like that it's yes this is the time like if you felt it all the time and then now it's saying it's now now is the time something wonderful is happening um, and I feel like this is going to be revealing something magnificent and changes that are going to transcend you to high levels of happiness completion rewards abundance all of that now let's take four important messages for everyone, for August 2nd, the truth. Right, somebody of Earth, Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn could be proposing an idea, a business proposal, working hard at something. I'll find out exactly what this is. And you can uh, look at who this person is in your uh, private reading. When I say private, meaning your what what kind of uh, your general reading under your star sign so have a look at who this person is i'm going to clarify it let's see right there's a new beginning that brings you absolute no worries in the world freedom to the highest level and this coincides this works well actually with this it goes perfect with this completion and freedom freedom from worries freedom from um difficult matters freedom complete freedom there is a soulmate coming, someone that you will heal together, you will work well together, it could be a partnership, either business or love or even companionship and friendship. It's just going to be thriving because it is someone from your past lives. You've got, you've had lifetimes before together. The connection is going to be overwhelming and you'll know what I'm talking about. And it happens at a time when there is, um, when you're leaving a situation, sadly, not happy leaving a situation. It is at that time where you're meeting this person. This person is on their way. 
so what you don't see happening coming while you're torn between whether you should stay or go whether you should or shouldn't there is a situation ending you're saying goodbye to the past and leaving leaving the past behind you or somebody is leaving you but the past is going is leaving whatever is happening it's happening for your highest good so you don't have to worry end of a toxic situation so i'll just take three more from this deck bear with me and just put this heater a bit down. Let's have a look. Now, my dear viewers, let's have a look. My dear friends, let's see. Three messages for the collective, August 2nd. And we've got the star, one of your greatest wishes or the oldest wish you've had for the longest time is going to be granted for you. With that wish, all your other wishes will come true so prepare for that and it always happens at an end of a chapter where it's saying to you it's time now to move on and get exactly what you want the completion of a chapter and time for rewards right the lovers partnerships are going to be doing well there are decisions are decisions are going to be made we'll find out exactly what kind of decisions very soon and finally one more and we've got the five of pentacles what we've got here leaving someone in the cold leaving a situation and going not happy where you are leaving due to many reasons some of you for better jobs some of you going for a better life some of you just not happy too many obstacles too many problems and just leaving there is the leaving here okay i'll put this right there okay what you don't see happening and coming in this deck we have the death card maybe someone is leaving an end of a chapter complete end of a chapter with a death card and you've got beautiful transformations the four of wands takes you to a lot of blessings coming in your life heaps of blessings just like we've got miracles and we've got the four of wands with a lot of blessings coming your way major blessings which are again hooraying for you know being in gratitude for all the blessings that are coming in and dreams come true with the four of wands that's what you don't see coming now i'm going to take two more messages from this deck what we've got one August 2nd for the collective and we got the second one we got the feather and the other one is let's just have a look we got the cup one more beautiful than the other but the feather is much better but doesn't matter which is better I shouldn't say that they all have their own um, amazing messages for us we've got overflowing prosperity overflowing prosperity let's see if you can see that yes and it's all about whether your your cup is full or empty your accounts are going to be doing well there's going to be a lot of prosperity coming there's very very strong nurturing fulfillment taking care of business some of you might be starting your own business and you'll see things that are going to be doing quite well um, very nurturing some of you might be doing careers in nurturing but fulfillment to the highest level and overflowing prosperity now why i said the feather is better there's a reason abundance and easy money but also divine intervention when divine intervention happens that means the time is right now for rewards just like this says right now yes this is the time now for rewards this is the time where you're completing a chapter and that's why we've got the death card the death card shows a chapter ends and completed and there's all kinds of rewards and reaping all the rewards from hard work hard labor and sacrifices now this is about abundance and easy money money that you don't have to work about but abundance of it divine intervention and some of you will just stop um you don't know what to do about your career you're going to be really stopping and thinking some of you might be considering a very light work or even air related um work but i do see a lot of traveling and of course, when abundance comes, all you think about is traveling and taking time out and having fun and, and releasing and resting. Let's have a look at two. And resting has been coming to August 2nd for everybody. Uh, resting, the Four of Swords has been coming out nonstop. So there is resting from a chapter, that's for sure. Um, okay, this is beautiful. It says, you do deserve love. You are lovable. So you need to know that about yourself. Very important. And then it says something worth waiting for and you know what this is about divine timing at work in your love life right now and what they're going to give you it is someone really worth waiting for so if you've been waiting for ages guess what it's worth it because it's your soulmate someone magnificent someone that you will be on high level connection with um, a partnership made in heaven between you and this person because you've got the lovers and the soulmate both together so you will be 
um, thriving together, making new decisions together, starting a new life together, planning together, healing together. It's all of that. Every part of that. Let's see the message for today. August 2nd for everybody. And there it is. Right. It says, look inside yourself. Examine what is making you feel this way. So whatever you're feeling, whether you're ecstatic, happy, whether you're bored and sad and really depressed, look into yourself and see what's going on. I feel like some of you might not be quite happy and that's why you're leaving, sadly leaving a situation because you're just not happy there anymore where you're at. You're not getting emotional satisfaction. Maybe that's why you're leaving. And also there might be timing, divine timing in your life now. So it takes you to a soulmate connection. So everything happens for a reason. But remember, freedom is coming and a lot of blessings are coming your way, not to mention miracles. So leaving the past behind you is okay at times because you are going to be transcended to higher levels of happiness. Now, let's have a look at the five of pentacles, leaving someone in the cold. We're going to go through this. The true five of pentacles. Oops, okay, let's see. Yes, there is a chapter ending and you're elevated to higher levels. You're ranking up a lot of money, a lot of happiness, a lot of travel is coming. Hard work is going to pay off big time. Pay attention to documents, dealing with money, especially when you're dealing with money. Document or land or, prop or assets. Make sure that you're looking at everything and paying attention to details so that you don't make any mistakes. So that's in regard to leaving a situation behind. Something is ending. This could be connected to someone of Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Because we've got here and it came out as what you don't see happening. This could be in connection to an Earth energy. Right, now, uh, let's have a look at that Earth energy, the Knight of Pentacles for the Collective. Yes, it looks like a very painful chapter ends, a very suffocating, overwhelming chapter. And there's a lot of money coming. Abundance is coming, giving you the power to help others. So much uh, money is coming that you'll be able to do charities you'll be able to help others and the end of a very painful chapter just like we said so hard work is coming to an end it's a little, it says a little bit of patience and you'll see so much happiness so much miracles so much stability so much balance is coming in your life let's have a look at the star one of your oldest wishes coming true what is it whatever it is you are going to be celebrating celebrating big time and it might come as a proposition or a proposal so remember that one of your wishes that's beautiful Sleepless nights, sadness, anxiety, guilt, all of that disappears. Absolutely disappears. Now let's have a look at the freedom. The fool. Taking a leap of faith and being quite happy. No worries in the world. It's all because of rewards and end of a challenge. One challenge and it's going to be an end of a chapter. This is the nine of uh, wands and this is the ten of wands. So it shows one more ch challenge. You've got to do, go through something. You will end winning, you will be a winner, and you're reaching an absolute ending. And this is where all the um, all the rewards come. So one more challenge, and you're going to freedom. You're getting your freedom, a, re a lot of rewards, recognition, fame for a job well done, applause, completion, and victory. How amazing, reaching to a level of absolute um, freedom and happiness. Um, the five of swords you are defeated in that area that area that's ending you had no choice it had to end it's absolute defeat there's no win no matter what you do that means it was something that it reached its end it has no more future let's have a look at why the soulmate is the reason i feel let's have a look at the two of cups yes it's your destiny just when it's time for you to leave you've got to go because you know what i didn't do this i didn't ask about this I asked about the soulmate, this card here. And look what I got. I got a destiny, right? I'll put this back so you don't get confused. I'll put the, I asked about the soulmate, and I got this answer. When you're leaving a place that's unhappy, and that's what it shows twice, leaving unhappiness, it is because of destiny. Because your destiny is happening. And guess what? Destiny is time for you now to meet someone magnificent like a soulmate. The heavens are working hard to bring this person on. You've got to accept this fact that this person's coming, whether it's going to be love or otherwise. It could be companionship. It could be friendship. It could be partnership and business. But they're working hard in your love life for some of you and for others where you're emotionally unhappy, you're leaving. It could be a job and then you're working in partnership and healing and growing strong with someone else. So destiny is bringing you extreme luck 
and taking control of situations to remove something that's no longer working to take you to the next level. And the next level is magnificent. So wh- wh- whether you're leaving, um, well, it's not whether you're leaving or not, you are leaving. Uh, you're leaving towards something magnificent, towards um, a, greater, uh, a greater place. So a lot of your wishes and dreams are going to be established when that happens. Desires, manifestations, what you've been waiting for, wishing. Fulfillment to the highest level with the Nine of Cups, the Wish card. Let's have a look at the Eight now. Eight of Cups leaving. Unhappy leaving. You were sad. You were very unhappy. You were feeling anxious and dissolution and pain and anguish and guilt and wars and battles and, and you just got sick of it. You got so tired. You are given the strength and the courage to move. Maybe you didn't even want to leave because you were just, you got used to it or you were dealing with someone you really cared for. But I feel like the truth was surpassing the reality of where you were. And you had to you had to come to an end. This chapter had to come to an end. And that's why you're given the power, the strength to move forward and leave. Now, again, it was a, an area of your love that was defeated. There was no win. The Five of Swords is a no-win situation. Even when you think you have won, but you haven't. There is no win with the Five of Swords. It's, it's not a winning card. No matter what anybody says, it's not a winning card. Oh, sorry, that was very wrong on me. Um... To say that, whatever, some people might see this as, you know, um, some people talk about it in a positive way, but I always read a, a very um, ancient way of looking at things. And this is all about defeat, being defeated, because it's five, because it's the source, and because there is no win. And it always shows uh, that it's a no-win situation. But it's right after this that there's a lot of a lot of wealth coming at the time where you're leaving the situation wealth comes to you big time now finally what i'd like to know there is one more thing i wanted to know oh, yes i wanted to know about the lovers and the decision in this partnership let's see what this decision is going to be all about uh, okay so this is going to give you a lot of clarity the king of souls shows it could be dealing with air energies, air energies could be involved here, like Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. But the most important fact about the King of Swords is, uh, in relation to any subject, it gives you the truth. It shows you the clarity. It gives you absolute truth so that you can't be delusional about anything and think, oh, yeah, no, this is possible. It gives you so much truth that you become empowered with this truth. Because when we have extreme clarity of seeing things the way they are, we don't get... We don't go through uncertainty and loss and limbo. We don't know what to do. We know exactly what to do. We know how to take control of things. This is about seeing the truth and, and, and not, um, uh, not being confused anymore, knowing exactly how to move forward, what to do. That's why you are making decisions about relationships or partnerships, whether it's business or otherwise. So that's that one that just jumped out. I'm going to ask more. And this card keeps coming no matter how much I'm shuffling. Wishes and dreams coming true. So I'll take it and put it over here. Um, let's have a look at the the, um, the lovers again. For everybody. Wow. So a decision is going to be calling. For some of you, you'll be leaving and grieving the loss of this situation for others you might be leaving someone for someone else in regard to this lovers to this partnership maybe leaving somebody behind and starting fresh with someone else but a lot of wealth is coming wealth to the highest degree and a soulmate again look at that soulmate connection and a great victory awaits you but the pentacles are there now finally the money is coming now remember there's so much to celebrate there's so much wealth and there's so much happiness coming your way in the process of all this uh, you've got the Wheel of Fortune giving you everything you need, everything you want. You've got celebrations. You're celebrating something magnificent. Whether it's going to be a grand amount of money, because we do have got, we've got abundance, easy money, and divine intervention. Or whether it's going to be someone that you truly will love, as the divine is timing, the, it's timing now, they're working in your love life. Or it could be the end of a chapter, and then there are so many rewards you're moving to the next level. It can also be love to the highest level and degree. Someone that's very loving and affectionate, someone like a soulmate coming into your life and taking you to high levels of happiness. So you're celebrating a lot. Of, there's a lot to celebrate. No matter how sad it may be that situations are leaving, chapters that are painful are ending, but a lot of wishes are being granted. A lot of miracles are coming. Um, extreme luck is there. Abundance is there. Happiness and fulfillment is there. Wishes and dreams coming true is there soulmate and celebration is there so there is so much to be in gratitude for 
so many blessings coming into your life on a grand scale, just like what you don't see happening and coming, the Four of Wands. Hooraying all the blessings coming into your life and, and, and ranking up to high levels of happiness. And, and this is all about leaving the past behind you, believe it or not. They keep showing that over and over. Now, let's see two more messages for everybody. Let's see what else I want you to know. August 2nd. As soon as I said August 2nd. Oh, gosh. Okay. This always happens. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's just the nail polish business. I wish we never had to put nail polish on. Okay. So, it says difficult times. Be on your guard against chaos as unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval are foretold. This is where there is sadness leaving, being left in the cold, endings of chapters, endings, endings that are going to be difficult times for you to process until you pass over, uh, you know, you overcome them. So guard against chaos or unforeseen perils, trouble or emotional upheaval, because it is foretold, it is going to take place. There is endings. Sexuality. It says existing relationships could find a new passion and heighten sexual attraction. Opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong. But if you're single, beware of temptation that could lead to trouble. A child will be bringing great joy. So there could be the birth of a child also. And that is the end of the reading. I hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. Do give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. And don't forget to watch the video all the way to the end in support of me. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It's absolutely free. I wish you all my love and light and everything you do. Namaste.